see the floodwaters are very, very high right now. I've got Senator Jason Raper joining us live right now. And uh, Senator Raper, you actually live right across, uh, just around the corner. That's right. But it took you how long to get here? Well, this morning, it took me about an hour and a half. You know, we typically, I can be right where you're at in about five miles from my house. And with road closures, it was 71 miles for me to get here. And what's happening is that is impacting families for their work, for school, uh, for medical services. Right, it's very disruptive. This bridge. That's right. And Max, I want you to pan this way. This is why, look at that. This is the first time we've been able to get a look at what's across this bridge. You can't even see the road continue here. No, it's underwater. Uh, you're just around where you're looking. We're going to be able to see the Toad Suck store here in a moment, which has been really a benchmark because in all of the previous floods, they say that the store has survived those floods. It was unable to survive at this time, and the people that own it are my neighbors. And uh, besides that, they have a barn where the water is up to the roof of that barn just beyond my place. And as we go to um, some other local news, I want to pan over here real quick. You can see some of the rooftops uh, just showing right here. This was actually a roadway where uh, many homes had to evacuate. But coming up, you actually talked to an elderly couple who was just going to ride this out. That's exactly right. In fact, just up here around the curve where you can start seeing where some houses are at, they had planned to ride it out. And and I got word from the county judge and emergency services that they were planning on staying. And yeah. just so happens their family came by on the road and I talked with them and they said that they're going to stay. Yeah. And so I said, let's give it one more shot. And so we went in there and talked with them and uh, they finally made a decision, thankfully, that to come out because I shared with them the numbers and I'm glad that they have because we've seen houses now down through here that submerged the rooftops. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of them. We're going to have those pictures in the video 